Why are the letters on a phone screen arranged in Q-W-E-R-T-Y instead of in alphabetical order, like A-B-C? Well, back before computers existed, people still used typewriters, where the keys were connected to levers that would strike the paper when pressed. And here's the problem. If you typed too fast and the letters were too close together, like C, D, F, and so on, the levers could collide, causing the typewriter to jam. So the inventor, Christopher Latham Scholes, thought, what if we separate the letters that are used most often? And that's how Q-W-E-R-T-Y was created. This layout was used in Remington typewriters, which quickly became popular. There were actually competitors to QWERTY, like the Dvorak layout, but Remington's popularity was massive, and soon offices, schools, and even countries started using Q-W-E-R-T-Y. When computers and touchscreen phones came along, the Q-W-E-R-T-Y layout stuck. Why? Because we were already used to it. Changing to alphabetical order or any other layout would mean relearning everything and creating a new standard. And that's why the letters on your phone screen are arranged in Q-W-E-R-T-Y.